Hello beautiful people, thank you so much for visiting my channel and today's reading is basically the messages from your person uh, what do they think about, what are they, they keeping from you and uh, basically what's on their mind at this moment and we have three piles of cards and you should choose one this is pile number one with a brown calcite stone pile number two with a green calcite and pile number three with rose quartz. I will see you soon. Hi everyone who chose pile number one or brown calcite. I'm so excited to read for you right now and find out what would your person say to you. And we have ten of pentacles. Beautiful. And then we have knight of swords. We have Nine of Pentacles, we have Seven of Pentacles, we have Two of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and Three of Pentacles. And then we have a few General Energy Oracle cards, the Goddess. The Gateway, um, The Sun, and Door to Value. I feel like your person is very concerned with the uh, material things at this moment, with, uh, with their security, with stability in their life, and um, they're very concerned with um, keeping their resources in order, in a good state, in order to be with you, in order to be able to provide for you. And they feel like you are someone who has everything that you need. You are very self-sufficient. You are very, maybe you are, have a really good career and you are very uh, independent in a material way. And um, they're trying to tell you that I'm doing so much right now, I'm doing so much for our future and I'm waiting for something to, for, for the return of my efforts and um, I want this beautiful family with you, I want to build the stability, I want to build this security, I want to travel the world with you, I feel like traveling is very common um, thoughts in their head, like they want to travel, see the world um, they are very intelligent and they like to communicate with you. They like to tell you things, to share ideas and thoughts. And uh, But sometimes it can be kind of cunning at the same time. It's like you are more stable, grounded and honest. And I feel like they are more like a trickster, maybe Gemini Moon person or Gemini Sun and uh, lots of Mercury energy. They really, really love you. There is this cup, two of cups card, and it says that they value your presence in their life. They value everything that you add on to their life. And they see you as someone who brings so much joy to them, so much happiness. You are someone that's equal to them. And it's like this perfect yin yang energy between the two of you. They are happy to be building the future with you and they at them I feel like they're a very creative person and um, they like to create, they like to do new things, they have lots of inspirations and like they get um, spiritual and uh, creative insight every single day. But at the same time I feel like they want to they want to make you happy. They see you as someone beautiful, smart, spiritual and very intuitive. They see you as this goddess, like you've got everything. You, you have an amazing, beautiful, smart, discerning mind. You have an amazing body. They, they enjoy your appearance and your physicality very much. They like the way you look. They find you very aesthetically pleasing and they see you as something something uh, maybe at the beginning of a relationship they found you uh, 
like you are someone they've never met before because we have this card of gateway and it's like one chapter of their life has ended and you came right at the moment when another began it's like you were the initiation to a new life for them in a way like you opened new doors for this person and you made them see the possibilities in life and they are very grateful to you for that um i feel like we have these two cards ten of pentacles and the gateway and they both have this globe figures i feel like you opened their mind about the um about other countries about other cultures maybe you are from different cultures maybe you have different background and with you they want to travel they want to learn new things they want to develop um they want to see the world and now they know that in order to achieve that they need to earn money they need to earn the resources and they have done something for it they've been working hard i see it they've been initiating things they've been progressing with them it's like they had a few projects and they've put enough energy in those projects that now they're waiting for the rewards and the return of their work return from their work in a, in a money maybe or some opportunities and now they're waiting for that in order to give you the experience that you deserve they see you as someone who deserves the best the best food the best treatment uh, lots of presents lots of gifts you are someone who knows your worth they uh, i hear that you are so valuable you are so you are so precious to me that's what i hear from these cards it's like they see how much you're worth and they are not scared of that they want to give you the world they want to give you this um protection and these experiences and this joy and this feeling like you are with someone who really wants you to be happy and also we have the beautiful card of sun and they say that i hear you are my son you bring me the positive energy you bring me happiness you bring me satisfaction you bring me so much laughter you make me laugh constantly and i'm so grateful to you for that and again the card door to value this word value i feel like it's the whole theme of this reading because i see the value in the in the general cards and in the energy the spiritual energy of this connection value is so important this is the person who who knows your value and knows your worth and they they will only try to raise it they will never put you down they don't want to do that they they admire the way your confidence and the way you carry yourself in life and i feel like they're also very grateful to you that you open up um the resources the income energy for them it's like you don't even need to do anything um, just by being in their life they get more opportunities with work with money with um some kind of um any rewards in life like you open that door to abundance to them but the beautiful thing is that they don't need it for themselves they want to share it with you they want to give you the world they want to give you as much as they can and they enjoy the process which is also beautiful they enjoy this process and um also there is this minor energy of arguments i feel like you've been through some argument and um and you didn't really resolve it like there was some minor argument that was in the past and this person they kind of snuck away from it they didn't even they didn't give much didn't give much explanation just because they didn't want to hurt you and um but i feel like it's all in the past because at this moment they are working for you to make you happy to make you enjoy this connection this experience with this person because they see you as someone who the ultimate partner in life because this is such a beautiful card of these dolphins and the two of cups it's like you feel their cup and um they know that you bring this beauty aesthetics and um spiritual understanding spiritual connection and you you make them feel 
like they belong they belong to you and uh, only you and this is so beautiful and now they are working it's like work 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 because they know that they need to give you the life that you deserve and um, I also feel like they, they are very traditional like they have a picture of a traditional family in their mind that they want to build with someone and, and um, they want to have many children they, they want to have a big house maybe um, some pets, dogs, cats and they want to have some weekly celebrations with the whole family and uh, they want to have a happy home happy family, happy home life and um, you bring them hopes for that they are hoping to achieve all of that with you okay let's look at some other messages for you pile one, one messages about this connection what does your person wants to tell you interesting we have abundance you've done the work abundance flows to you now and I feel like this is exactly the person that we are inquiring about they've done the work they've been trying so hard because they know that it's all worth it you are worth it you are worth every single effort they've done every single morning they had to wake up so early and go to work and go through struggle but they enjoyed it thoroughly because it's for you and they and they really love you and now they, they are in the process of reaping the rewards and sharing them with you because they've been waiting. Um, they've been waiting to get something back and now they're seeing the abundance and they've done the work. The abundance is flowing to them now. And it's flowing into your connection with this person because they are doing all of this for you. It's like your energies are very inter interwined. That's the word I think I'm looking for. And this is, if you have any doubts about this connection, about this person, I feel like you should take this as a sign. We have a card that says trust. It is, it is safe to trust in this situation and in this person. Because maybe in the past you had a disagreement where you felt like this person wasn't genuine or they just snuck away or didn't give you enough explanation for some actions. Um, and this kind of um, rubbed you the wrong way and you kind of got confused and now you're not sure if you should trust him or her and this is a sign for you that you can trust them because they have put in so much work, work and um, effort in this connection that um, it's all coming from the pure purity of their heart and then we have the card support lean on your inner circle during this time and I feel like this is a more of a confirmation that you can lean on this person, that they, that they want to protect you, that they want to provide for you. And if you're in the times of trouble or confusion or worry, they are the one you can go to and ask for help and ask for consolation and um, they will give you the support you need. Okay, let's see what messages, what other messages your person has for you, has for you. Pile one, messages from your person. Mm, this is even more interesting. And we have a card. I want you and uh, it all explains like every single card in this reading tells me that they want you they desire you you are such a beautiful creature for them the goddess the true goddess they see you as irresistible so they say I want you but then they say I'm not available and this tells me that sometimes I feel like you don't get enough time with them because they are so busy they are so busy working and preserving what they've tried to achieve for you, for this relationship, for your future. 
and sometimes they just cut you off and say, I'm sorry, I'm busy, I have to finish this and that and that, but I'll come back to you. And they always do. I feel like they still want to be in your life, but they realize if they stop, if they stop what they're doing, their process, their career, they may lose you. So that's why it's like, uh, sometimes you are bombarded with the affection from them and sometimes there is almost none because they're so busy. So this is the energy of these cards. And then we have, I wonder if you're happy without me. So it's all the same. Maybe this, uh, for some of you, maybe the argument that happened previously, maybe it made you um, cut each other off so you had no contact. It will be true for some of you, but if it doesn't resonate, leave it and uh, take the other information that resonates with you. So if you did cut off this person if, or if they did cut you off, they're thinking about you and they miss you and they say, I wonder if you're happy without me because they're not, they're not happy without you. But if you, nothing ever happened, it feel, it's just they are worried that when they don't give you m m as much attention as you need, as you want, because they are constantly working, they're constantly grinding, they're constantly trying to achieve um, the security and the s resources, they are worried that you may find your happiness elsewhere, that y you, uh, this is like, they don't know how to balance these two sides of life, the emotional life and material life. They want to do everything for you, but at the same time, someone always end up hurt or confused or neglected. So, um, I feel like the energies from this person are really good towards you. They want to give you the world. They want to give you the sun, the moon, and they see you as their ultimate par partner, their ultimate husband or wife. And, um, it's just at this moment, they're focused on work and providing for you and doing everything to make sure that the future you have together is a good one, is an exciting one and it's of a quality. So thank you so much for watching this, everyone who chose pile number one. I hope this resonated with you. If it didn't, always feel free to choose another pile. Maybe some messages will resonate more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful morning, day or evening, whatever you are in the world. Hi everyone who chose pile number two and I'm so excited to read for you and find out what are the messages um, the other person wants you to know. And we have throat chakra, triumph, firm foundation, power, harmony, deception and envy, fertility, sacral chakra and then we have a few oracle cards to give the general energy of your of your connection we have transmutation emergence caring connection and yin yang Wow, I feel like this is a very intense connection and it's going through some changes, rapid changes at the moment. Something, something is happening, something is changing and you both feel it. And um, I feel like you've, there is a strong sense of competition between the two of you. It's like you are always competing uh, intellectually and in always I feel like it's more it's coming more from your person rather than you it's like they they are very smart they can be Libra, Gemini or Aquarius and also lots of fire energy here so Aries, Sagittarius and Leo and I feel like they like to argue they like to debate and they like to make sure that the other, the other person takes on their point of view. And they're not so good at compromise, even though they're trying for you, 
maybe they are trying more than they used to with they would with someone else but they are still very competitive and they like to debate on almost any topic and um, I feel like when they win the conversation when they win the argument they feel the best they feel like they are on the top of the world and um, it's how they get their inner strength it's how they feel whole and maybe it comes from their childhood or maybe some past traumas when someone didn't appreciate their mind or the way they were thinking or their ideas weren't heard and now they're very persistent and assertive with their ideas if you and if you don't agree you are suddenly an enemy like i feel as though as though they they will force their ideas with power on you in some situations and uh But also at the same time, I feel like what they want from you, what they want in this relationship, they're trying to tell you that they are learning harmony. They're learning to be more harmonious, to compromise. You make them someone who is more soft with the way they um, share their ideas, share their thoughts and the way they, with you, they learn to see your point of view, your other people's point of view, other people's ideas and thoughts and you make them feel as though they can do this, they can learn to become more soft with other people, they can learn to become more considerate but sometimes they do it through deception or like cunning ways, it's like they can be completely honest about their reciprocity is it the word i'm looking for yeah i think reciprocity the fact that they understand just the idea that un they understand your where you're coming from with your words with your thoughts sometimes they say yeah yeah i get you i understand you but they really don't <laughs> and they're just trying to make to keep the peace when all they really want to do is fight it's like they have this restless energy in them, I feel like, and um, but they see you as someone very, very attractive, someone who makes them, uh, someone very feminine. If you're a woman, they see you as someone uh, very, this is a card of fertility, maybe they want to have children with you, or they see you as someone with a very strong maternal energy, like someone who can take care of them. They. I hear thank you for taking care of me when I needed it the most and I feel like you are ready to take care of them even though sometimes they don't accept the care that you give them it's like they they try to seem more tough that they need to that, that they need to be and they try to show you how powerful they are how successful they are how um, un um, invincible they are but at the same time um, they love the care that you give them they love the maternal maternal energy the nurturing the feminine they feel like you are very grounded you are very grounding energy for them and you show them the peace and tranquility and harmony that they could never achieve on their own and in any other relationships it's like in all previous relationships they had to fight 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 to prove their worth or like at, um, at least argue verbally and be always um alert and vigilant to make sure that nobody they, no, no one else hurts them but with you it feels like They feel like they are safe for you, that's what they're trying to say, to tell me. Like, you are such a harmonious, pure, beautiful person and uh, they also see you as someone incredibly attractive, someone is, they admire your creativity, they see you as someone who can create beautiful things and they see you as someone who has this amazing positive energy, someone who who has the 
has an amazing vitality in them. It's like you're not aggressive at all. Like they can be sometimes verbally aggressive, and they they need to win every fight, every discussion, in every um, situation. You're not like that. You have the internal vitality, internal life force that they absolutely love about you. It's like you create things out of nowhere. These two cards together. Fertility and sacral chakra show me that you are incredibly, incredibly creative. Like you get inspired from anything. Maybe you have a creative job. Maybe you are a painter. Maybe you are a dancer. Maybe you. I feel like you cook really well. They like the way you cook and they like the food that you make. It's like incredibly tasty and delicious for them, and they enjoy it. And. Um, also, we have a few cards, transmutation and emergence here. And I feel like they're going through a big change with you and they want to let you know that you make the truth in me, my true essence, my true soul and being come out. You make it emerge out of nowhere. You make me transform in the true reality of me into who I am. And you bring this incredible transformation in me, and I'm so grateful for that. That's what I hear. And their ultimate goal, what they want to achieve with you, and is to be to be as caring as you are, because at this moment they're struggling with that. And but they're learning from from you. They're learning to be more caring, be more loving, be more affectionate, and be more flexible with um, their ideas, with uh, some, maybe you have some clashes, but they, they want to achieve the state of caring connection that um, they're someone you can rely on. That's what they're telling me. They want to be someone you can rely on and someone, a safe heaven for you. And also they see you as someone who completes them you're the yin yang they're the strong masculine aggressive maybe at times um warrior energy warrior yes warrior. that's the right word <laughs> and um you are this uh soft feminine um peaceful and uh beautiful gentle energy and they see you as some someone who can add up just the right amount of femininity to them, of softness to, to them, of flexibility. And they see you as someone who just completes them and makes them feel whole. And um, yeah, let's ask for some other messages for your connection, pile number two. What other messages do we have about this connection? <coughs> This is very, very interesting. So we have the card marriage and it says that this relationship is moving towards a sacred union. I feel like they're thinking about committing to you on a serious level because they see that you are this beautiful, harmonious person and you enrich their life. You make them feel more happy, more complete, more at peace with you. And... Uh, Maybe they have a very demanding job where they have to succeed all the time. They have to be, to have a very strong backbone. It's like this card tells me that they have to be really strong and they get so tired in the outer world. But with you, they are in peace. And I feel like they have thoughts about um, building a strong, uh, committed relationship with you, such as marriage. And then we have card fin finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. And yes, that's apparent in this um, set of cards because I feel like they are, they can't catch a break. Like they, they are in such a warrior mode and they realized maybe, maybe you have some clashes about the financial situation of your in your lives and they feel like they need to 
provide for you and they need to, bo to be more stable and resourceful and that's why they are being very active and uh, aggressive and like a warrior that wants to achieve something, that wants to fight for you. And then we have the word, uh, the card mastery that says you've learned the spiritual lesson. And I feel like the lesson for them was the transformation that you give them. They've learned that they can become something they've never dreamed of becoming. It's like their true essence is emerging. They're becoming more, more of themselves with you. It's like they're becoming more... I hear you make me better. You make me a better person. That's what they're trying to tell you. Sometimes I feel like they're not very proud of some achievements that they had, but with you, you make them, you make them really proud of themselves and they appreciate it so much. Let's see what else that do they want to tell you. The pile two. Interesting. I want to be more than friends. For some of you, maybe this is the beginning of any of your relationship, but they already feel how much you've impacted them. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. Just take this message and uh, just leave this message and take whatever resonates with you. If you're in a strong, committed relationship, but I feel like a good part of you maybe. In the developing relationship and they realized they've realized that you've impacted them so much um, just by being in their life that they want to become more they want the commitment they want to they want you in your life for good that's what it tells me and um, the arguments that you have, maybe you, some of you cut your person off, maybe uh, there were some harsh words said and maybe now you are in no contact or you're in, in a separation. For this uh, bunch of you, I feel like they're trying to say that I left you before you could leave me. And again, that's this energy of competition, like who's smarter, who's faster, who's more um, discerning, who's... Um, stronger and this is like and they regret this they regret turning their back on you they regret uh, go turning away and um, they they're constantly asking i wonder if you're happy without me because they have a really uh, they have a really strong appreciation for who you are for your pure energy for your pure soul for how you complete them how you make them a complete person and now they're reconsidering their behavior, I feel like, and uh, they are, I'm so sorry, my camera got cut off. So they're reconsidering their past behavior and they are thinking of coming back to you because they, you've already transformed them so much and you showed them the beautiful uh, path of um, harmony and love and appreciation of another human being that they want to be with you they want to build the future with you and um, I feel like they will come back to you they will uh, reach out to you for sure they will, will reconnect with you and uh, yes this this was your reading for pile 2 I hope this resonated if it didn't you can always choose another pile and maybe some messages from that pile will, will um, give you more insight and uh, thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful morning, day or evening, wherever you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi everyone who chose pile number three. I'm so excited to read for you and find out what are the messages does your person want you to hear, to know. And we have a beautiful Knight of Cups. We have Page of Swords. Eight of Wands, Seven of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Queen of Swords, 
and the tower and then we have um, just a few oracle cards for the general energy of your connection and we have a bird the mystic mm, interesting and we have six chakra archangel metatron and then we have goddess of the moon This is such an interesting energy that your person carries with them in regards to you. I feel like they see you as someone very discerning, very smart, very blunt. It's like you are so truthful and uh, you are so smart, you know, you are, for them you are an incredibly smart person. Um, I feel like air signs maybe sun venus or moon um, libra gemini or aquarius and they feel like you are an incredibly smart person and sometimes they are um, scared of your mind even i don't know how i hope i make sense it's like they are trying to fight off your um your communication um how, how do i even explain this it's like sometimes you say things in a way that they feel like they need to defend themselves in a way that they need to um you need to provide you with more facts and they need to be smarter and they feel like uh, the way you speak like you are superior to them in a way in your mental abilities and your communication but at the same time um they have this beautiful romantic feelings towards you and they really try to say that they admire you they want to be romantic with you they want to give you gifts they want to give you the attention and the care that you deserve and this is a very romantic card and it tells me that they are incredibly romantic person at heart and they um maybe they send you some cute messages all the time like hi cutie how are you doing hi sweetie and uh, i miss you and uh, i feel like lots of uh, text communications and it's all always very cute and very sweet and um and at some point they wanted things to move faster and they tried, they wanted to accelerate um, the process of getting to know you, um, the process of um, getting together and uh, creating this beautiful union. But I feel like you took your time. It's like they were more in a rush than you were. It's like you were very careful. And um, for them, you are just someone who knows so much, who Who's, who's, who has been through so much and uh, they admire this about you but they're scared of this as well it's like they never know when you're going to um, to reject them and they'll have to and everything will be destroyed it's like they're scared that one day you'll say no this is not what I want you are not what, you, what I want and sometimes you can be maybe picky to them, towards them. But you never mean it in a bad way. You, you're just, you're very, um, how would I? Um, you're a very sarcastic person. That's the word I was looking for. You're a very sarcastic person. And they are, um, and sometimes they don't know how to defend themselves. It's like uh, they, they feel like they are really um, inferior to your mind, to your understanding of life, to your... And they wanted to rush in this relationship, they wanted to make you like them. But they see you as someone who is very mature and very intelligent and you know what you want, you know how to... You know what you deserve. And um, sometimes they feel like they are walking on eggshells in a way. It's like sometimes they get so passionate, but at the same time you cut them off and then they feel like everything is destroyed. I was, I was so passionate about her or him. I wanted to show my love. I wanted to uh, make a move. I wanted to, 
and then she cut me off or she was called or he was called and then I feel like my life is crumbling down and I feel like there's I can't repair anything anymore and I feel like sometimes they they feel like everything is falling apart but they always try again and again and I feel like meeting you um, it was a bit, you are like a very fresh energy for them you are like the birth of something beautiful beautiful feeling that they felt and they felt so um, propelled to give you love and support and affection and uh, give you the peace and uh, how would, what am I trying to say um, surround you with a very peaceful energy and uh, make you feel like you are this beautiful um, white dove with a crown on your head it's like you gave the birth of something a very beautiful feeling in their soul and they um, they are so happy to be around you um, and they see you as someone someone very discerning again it's like you are you have an incredibly strong intuition and maybe they've told you this before it's like you see through people and you see through things and maybe I'm getting a sense of psychology you know psychology of people so well maybe you've studied it maybe you've encountered some really difficult people like narcissists or uh, sociopaths psychopaths and you see through people now after having this experience you see through people and you read behind you read between the lines always when you speak to someone and um, they're getting used to this they're getting used to you being so discerning so intuitive and um, they see you as this goddess of the moon someone who someone who has their own path to follow and like you will never take orders um, you will never um, you will never be obedient to anyone and you know your worth you know that you're smart you know that you're incredibly intelligent and they see you as someone extremely feminine at the same time and extremely intuitive like you have this beautiful intuition that they admire and they love this about you let's get some more messages about this connection and your person for pile three what do you need to know about this connection so interesting and um, wow yeah I feel like both of you are going through some serious transformation in this relationship and in your separate lives and we have awakening like you you make them awaken and they awake you and this is very reciprocal and it says both people in this connection are undergoing spiritual transformations and you can't seem to find out how to work this transformation and this relationship and how to make it work all of this together and uh, we have this card of addiction and addiction is affecting this relationship and I feel like this may be somehow connected to your person because it's like there is something that they didn't let go of yet and this bothers you maybe it's past relationship maybe it's the, con the addiction to some substance maybe they're smoking drinking maybe they're addicted to video games anything like that and or maybe it's some thinking pattern I'm getting the sense of it could be just the thinking pattern things that they talk about it annoys you like crazy I have a feeling I hear that it makes you so mad and you point it out to them at times you try to explain to them that baby you have to stop this this is or maybe not in this way even like you're more harsh and blunt and honest about it that they try to defend themselves out of fear that they will lose you 
but at the same time they can't let, let go of the addiction of something so stuck in their psyche and um they're scared of lose of losing everything of this relationship being destroyed because of their addiction and something that they haven't dealt with yet and it also makes you feel as though you and this person are on different pages and you don't share the same vision about your future and um, this makes you frustrated that makes you act harsh and uh, in sometimes even you get really uh, discouraged and um, sad I feel like and they also feel like they need to get to your level of understanding life of being wise as wise as you are and of becoming more free more free in their thinking in uh, free in whatever it is they're addicted to and then you will meet on some solid ground where you can build a better relationship Okay, let's uh, see what else they want to tell you in this relationship. What else does the person for pile 3 wants to tell them? Oh wow, they're feeling guilty. They're feeling like um, they hurt you. They know that they hurt you and they say, I wish I had treated you better. Um, and somehow maybe this is connection again, this is connected to this addiction, something, some thinking pattern, something that they resort to at the slightest sight of trouble or sadness or depression, they go to something and it's not you necessarily and they try to defend themselves they try to justify themselves but they haven't let go of that yet they haven't let go of something that's holding a grip on them and they say i wish i had treated you better so they have remorse and they say we both know i'm not the one for you oh wow that's heavy and then we have i remember every detail of that day and I feel like there is some beautiful memory in your past that they are holding on to something the way you met or maybe some memorable date or the conversation and they remember every detail of that and they are holding on to that memory but this is very heavy when you're dealing with addiction and you have completely different mindsets about things and they say I'm both um, we both know I'm not the one for you uh, with this conflicting energies, I would say take your time, don't make any decisions, look at how, um, see if there will be any changes in your person and if they're ready to make any changes for you. If yes, maybe they deserve a second chance. If not, then maybe, maybe they are not the one for you. I hope this reading resonated with you, pile number three. If it didn't, uh, feel free to check out any other reading, any other pile. Maybe you'll find you'll find some more insight. Ins I can speak anymore. Insightful messages there. And uh, thank you for giving me an opportunity to read for you. Have a beautiful morning, day, or evening, wherever you are in the world. Bye bye.